The Warsaw Uprising, a cataclysmic event that unfolded during the tumultuous backdrop of World War II, stands as a poignant testament to the indomitable spirit of the Polish people. Commencing on August 1, 1944, this audacious insurrection was a desperate gamble by the Home Army, the Polish resistance, to liberate Warsaw from the iron grip of Nazi occupation. The overarching strategy was to seize control of the city before the advancing Soviet Red Army could claim it, thereby securing Poland's sovereignty, with a force of approximately 50,000, including a substantial contingent of young men and women, the Home Army launched a coordinated assault against the German garrison. Initial successes were swift and exhilarating, as Polish forces liberated significant portions of the city. However, this euphoria was short-lived. The German response was swift and brutal. Reinforced by fresh troops and equipped with superior weaponry, the Nazis transformed Warsaw into a hellish cauldron of urban warfare. The ensuing battle was a grim testament to human endurance, as the city became a graveyard of shattered dreams and broken lives. The uprising's tragic arc was inextricably linked to the complex geopolitical machinations of the era. The Western Allies, while expressing sympathy for the Polish cause, were constrained by geographical and logistical challenges. Their ability to provide meaningful support was severely hampered by the vast distances involved and the hostile territory that lay between them and Warsaw. The Soviet Union, positioned across the Vistula River, presented an even more enigmatic role. While the Red Army's presence offered a glimmer of hope for the beleaguered Poles, the Soviets' actions, or rather inactions, remain a subject of intense historical debate. Their decision to withhold critical aid, coupled with their apparent indifference to the plight of Warsaw, has fueled accusations of betrayal and complicity. The uprising's ultimate failure was a product of multiple intersecting factors. The overwhelming military superiority of the German forces, combined with the city's strategic vulnerability, proved insurmountable. The absence of decisive external support, particularly from the Western Allies and the Soviet Union, exacerbated the situation. The Polish resistance, though displaying extraordinary courage and tenacity, was ultimately overwhelmed by the sheer weight of the German war machine. By October 2, 1944, the uprising had been crushed, leaving Warsaw in ruins and its people shattered. The human cost of the Warsaw Uprising is almost beyond comprehension. The city, once a vibrant cultural and economic hub, was reduced to a smoldering wasteland. Hundreds of thousands of civilians perished in the crossfire or were systematically executed by the Nazis. The physical and psychological scars inflicted upon the surviving population were profound and enduring. The uprising serves as a stark reminder of the horrors of war and the devastating impact of armed conflict on civilian populations.